Depending on the frame rate of your video, it can really change the whole look of everything, especially when it comes to the frame rate that the video was originally shot at. Pitch this video common, I'm Hayden and this is Cinematography. I'm gonna show you multiple ways inside DaVinci Resolve on how you can change the frame rate of not only just your timeline, but of the clips themselves. So whether you need to speed up or slow down a clip, or you just need to get that frame rate correct for the type of deliverable you have in your video, I'm gonna show you all the ways you can do that. First off, we'll start with the project. You can come down to this gear here at the bottom corner, and this will bring you up to your project settings. You wanna make sure that you are in the master settings, and then right here under timeline resolution, you can come down to timeline frame rate. Drop that down, you can select all these frame rates that it has available. As well, you can change the playback frame rate and your video monitoring frame rate. The video monitoring frame rate is just the frame rate that your monitor is showing, but won't be the actual frame rate of the final outputted video. So those settings are going to change the default of every new timeline that you create inside the project. However, if you wanna make a timeline that doesn't follow the default of that project setting frame rate, I'm gonna show you how you can do that. Over in the media pool, just right click, go to timeline, create new timeline. And then from here, we can untick use project settings, go over to format. And right here, we can adjust our frame rate. One thing to keep in mind, if you want to change the timeline frame rate of an existing timeline, you don't have that ability. It's just going to be grayed out and you can't change that. You have to make a new timeline and copy everything over from the previous timeline to have that new timeline frame rate. You can't actually export the final video in a different frame rate than that of the frame rate in your timeline. However, DaVinci for some reason only limits it to like three options. I haven't actually exported one frame rate of a timeline to another frame rate for the final video. So I believe this would make it pretty choppy or not look correct. So do keep that in mind, but it is possible if you want to do that, just come down to the delivery page. And over here under custom exports, you can see there is frame rate and you can select that. And this was a 23.976 timeline. We can do it at a 24 or a 29.97. And that actually puts it at a three by two aspect ratio. Like I said, you can export it at a different frame rate, but it's weird and probably wouldn't recommend doing that. We've covered the frame rates for the timeline itself and the project. We're going to now move into the frame rates of the video. So if you don't know what frame rate your video is, you can see it in a multitude of ways. One way to do that is coming over into your media pool and selecting the list. And you can scroll over here and see the frame rate that it was shot at. The other way to do that is going over to the metadata tab, which is located right here. And from here, you can see the frame rate right there. To change the actual frame rate of the clip, it's real simple. First way you can do that is select the clip and click R on your keyboard. And right here, you have frames per second. So we can go ahead and change that to like 48. And you can see that it shrunk that down. So now the video will play back at 48 frames per second. And before it was playing at 25 frames per second and looked like that. So it was a lot more slow motion and we just sped it up simply by changing that in the speed. If you don't have the keyboard shortcut set up, you can always right click on the clip and come up to change clip speed right here. And that'll bring you right back here to your frames per second and you can change that right there. Another way to change the frames per second of the clip that I know a lot of people do, especially when they're coming from Premiere, is they'll go to the clip attributes. So you can do that by right clicking and going to clip attributes and then right up here, you can see there is frame rate and we can drop that down and change it. You can also check the drop alternate frame if you want that enabled, but we'll just go ahead and hit okay. And you're gonna get a media offline. And I believe this is just some weird bug because it is just changing the entire clip on the timeline. However, I found a way to get around that. And all you do is actually change the frame rate of the video in the media pool itself. So we'll just come back up to our media pool, right click on it. And like before, we will select our clip attributes. And now we will select 48 from here. And okay, we'll still get that media offline. And the unfortunate thing is we're gonna have to delete that and then drag our new clip in. And we can go into our attributes and see that it is at 48 and we can play it back. 
Going through the clip attributes is a lot more tedious inside DaVinci, so if you are going to change the frame rate of the clip, I do recommend just using the retime control feature. If you found value in this video, leave a like and let me know in the comment section if there's some other DaVinci tips you'd like to know. Until next time, auf Wiedersehen.